Hi everyone. This is a video showing my first water test of the uh, of my 22 gallon all-in-one design. This is a tank built by GlassCages.com. It's three three sides Starfire glass. The return area, the uh, refugium area, is uh, built by myself using acrylic parts. As you can see, there's three chambers. There's an overflow chamber, a refugium area, and a return chamber. The Baffle walls, as you'll see in a second, of each chamber, the baffle walls are removable. Um, and this is to allow for um, reconfiguration and cleaning. This is a feature I really like. You'll also no notice around the bottom there is a uh, manifold system. And uh, this is another feature that I, I like uh, seen from larger tank systems. Uh, and they use, man use manifold systems to drive multiple devices off a single return pump, uh, such as a, a media reactor, chemical reactor. I'm using a Tunzee Silence re, uh, pump for the return. It's quite powerful and it's very quiet. I'm very happy with it. Here you'll see the, um, the overflow. The overflow is about five inches wide and it has no teeth as you can see and that's by design um, to maximize the amount of uh, skimming action um, off the display tank and that works quite well. You also notice in the chambers you'll see a lot of water agitation on the surface of each chamber. Um, that's done by design as well. Uh, notice on some all-in-one designs that um, the top surface water can get stagnant and form a scum. I wanted a design that prevented that. So in the first chamber and in the third chamber you'll see a lot of water agitation in the center chamber is where my all-in-one skimmer will be and that will provide the agitation for uh, that chamber. So far the water test is going um, remarkably well, as good as I could be expected from my design. It's doing exactly what I expected it to do and I'm, uh, I'm very happy. Got some more things left to do before we're ready to, to fire it up, but uh, so far it looks pretty good. If you have any comments, please feel free to leave them.